Thank you so much, Gwen. And thank you all for joining us here this evening. We're so excited to have you here. And it's absolutely a pleasure to have you as our guest at the American Red Cross. On behalf of all of the people at the American Red Cross, I'm deeply grateful to the Rockefeller Foundation for absolutely everything that it does. The foundation does so much to strengthen resiliency around the globe. They step up, they address social, economic, health, and environmental challenges, and I especially want to recognize their amazing leadership. The foundation president, Dr. Judith Roden, there she is. <laughs> and the chairman of the Board of Trustees, David Rockefeller. Where's David? I saw him right there. He is. So as you all know, we're together this evening to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Rockefeller Foundation. So I think it's appropriate to just take a few moments to reflect on the incredible impact that the foundation has had on the American Red Cross. Throughout the history of the Red Cross, the Rockefeller Foundation has been such a strong and steady partner in our efforts to prevent and alleviate human suffering. And not only has the foundation been one of our most generous supporters, it's also one of our oldest supporters. The very first grant that the Rockefeller Foundation ever made on December 5th, 1913, was to the American Red Cross. And they awarded our organization $100,000 to construct the National Headquarters building that was on 17th Street where we had our reception. And I did a little math, and that $100,000 is worth $2.4 million today. So generosity is absolutely overwhelming. Thank you. So if you were at the reception earlier this evening, I hope you had a chance to explore the 17th Street building. It's a memorial to the women who tended to the wounded during the Civil War, and it was declared a National Historic Landmark in 1965. And I'm sure you all saw those beautiful Tiffany windows. We're especially proud of them that are located in our Board of Governors Hall. They're the largest set of Tiffany windows in their original location in the United States. And at the end of the Civil War, the women of the North donated the panel on the left, the women of the South donated the panel on the right, and together they donated the one in the center as a symbol of reconciliation. And there's a lot of history in this room, too. Um, this is our Hall of Service, and women volunteers rolled bandages in here during World War I. And I think if they saw what the Rockefeller Foundation did in this room, they would just be shocked and pleased at how gorgeous it looks tonight. And the room serves as a reminder of the role that the Red Cross plays in our country. Our humanitarian efforts provides comfort, relief, and hope to those in need. Every year, we respond to nearly 70,000 disasters in the US, and they range from a single family house fire up to and including a Superstorm Sandy. We provide about 8 million units of blood products. It's 40% of the nation's blood supply. And every one of those products was donated by a humanitarian who was willing to open up their veins to save the life of a complete stranger. We teach critical health and safety skills to millions of people every year, and I'm often counted on to give an award to an ordinary person who performed an extraordinary act and saved a life. We provide vital communications and emergency services to the members of the armed forces and their families, and we're in 77 countries helping to prepare for disasters and help prevent the spread of diseases. And I know in this day and age, it's easy for people to be pessimistic, jaded, cynical. I just wish that they could see what I have the privilege of seeing almost every single day. I get to witness the incredible resiliency of the American people. 
I get to see people who have lost everything in a disaster step up and be bound and determined to bounce back again. And I get to see the overwhelming generosity of the American public. And the Rockefeller Foundation truly exemplifies this generosity. In fact, just last month, the foundation made a $250,000 grant to the American Red Cross to support our life-saving work here and also abroad. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for that beautiful gift. So on behalf of all that we serve, we're deeply appreciative of your ongoing commitment. Thank you again for joining us. It's a pleasure to share this evening with you. And now, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce a true humanitarian, a woman who has done so much to make a positive difference in our world. Dr. Judith Roden has served as president of the Rockefeller Foundation since 2005. And through her steady guidance at the foundation, she served as a remarkable advocate on so many different vital issues, from public and environmental health, to increased economic opportunity, to community resilience. And it's now my privilege to be able to present her with the Silver Cross in recognition of the Rockefeller Foundation's century of remarkable distinguished leadership in philanthropy. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Judith Rodin. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you.